I know I haven't been doing a lot of ride-alongs, but I wanted to kind of throw this video together just to show a few of my ride-alongs, but also like how, what I did this week. Because a lot of people think, you know, I'm only doing YouTube. I'm not driving no more. No, I'm still out there driving and I'm still setting up my private rides. I'm still chasing profits. I'm doing the best I can do. We're all still drivers. We're all fighting together. Like I said, we the 300. They see us coming. They got news media stories coming out trying to attack how we doing it. I mean, I just saw today on the professor's channel. Now they're throwing out, you know, something about insurance. Somebody's getting sued about, oh, look at this guy suing for $64 billion in insurance. Well, the type of driver they had on that app shouldn't have been there. Apparently, the dude who actually hit the guy that was in the crosswalk, the, the guy that's suing for $64 million, the dude, that the actual driver, had all of these former charges for speeding, you know, driving issues, tickets, you know, license issues, yet Lyft never pulled him off the platform. So if you're a driver like that, yeah, you need to be worried like he worries. I'm not a driver like that. I know how to drive. I'm not worried about that. So, But that's another one of their attempts to throw some, hey, man, if you guys are going to be doing private rides, look at his $64 million lawsuit. No, I'm, I'm more like, look at that shitty driver. That's what I'm looking at. I'm not worried about the lawsuit. That dude was a shitty driver. Lyft should have never had that dude on a platform. Look at his driving history. Go research the stories and everything. Like, like I said, I look up everything. I don't just believe, you know, what Lyft and the media are putting out. There's a reason why they're putting these stories out. They're putting it out to scare us from doing what we do. I say, if you're a shitty driver, you should be scared. Because that dude was a shitty driver. Look at his records. Look at his, Lyft know his record. Lyft know his history. Why didn't they pull his dude off the platform? But I'm going to show you guys how I drove. Aside from all that, this is what I got. My app up today. I was sitting outside my client's uh, office when I dropped her off. And I picked up this real quick ride. Like, i only been online for like 11 minutes. Picked up this real quick ride. It was a $3 bonus, $3 ride with a $3 tip. Triple threes means it's going to be a good day when you get synchronicity. Look at that, almost two miles, nine bucks. I was sitting right outside my client's office, booted the app up real quick, and this guy needed a ride. It was only an eight-minute ride. That was it. So I basically scouted for like a two, three minutes. Scouted for two or three minutes. The ride popped up, went and picked him up from around the corner. Bam. Already quick nine bucks, three, three, three. So now what I'm gonna try to do is I'm in this part of town now. I'm just north of downtown Phoenix. I need to go home and shave. I shouldn't even be driving right now because my face looks a little rough. I look a little scruffy and gruffy, but I'm gonna drive anyways. But I'm gonna cruise up to where this four is and I'm gonna come back down, go home, shave, shower, eat me some breakfast, probably go work out. So I might crank out, make about $30 before I get home and then, you know, call it good. My client already paid me 20, I make another 30, that's $50 morning. Only got another 150 for the rest of the day. Look at that, $15 of comfort to go 25 minutes over there. Yeah, not doing that. $15.76 comfort. Now, them people probably paid about $30 for that ride because it's a comfort ride. And plus, it's got a surge on it. I'm not going that way. But what I'm trying to do is I want to go up and curve over to the east a little bit and drop back south. That way I can get home, grab me something to eat, shower, shave. What is this, $10 for that? Yeah, let's take it. I'm right up here by them anyway. Let's take that quick 10 bucks real quick. Pick them up, drop them off at the Biltmore. It's right up by the $4 I was wanting anyways. Then I'll start dropping back south. See how this goes. This is what's crazy right here. This is like the last trip I took, I got 10 bucks. 10 bucks for six miles. See that? 20 minutes, 10 bucks, six miles. I'm on the area that I, I like right now, so it's cool. But it's $10, six miles. The first trip I took was $9.00. For two miles you see that so when you take these little short trips with these surges and these bonuses you can go eight nine minutes you can get a dollar a minute for taking super short trips the longer the trip the worse it is for me i don't like long trips even though there was only six miles i had to come this way anyways so now i'm over by biltmore so i'm gonna cruise over here for a while there's no surge where i'm at it used to be surge up here but they got a big conference so I'm gonna probably send out a text message in a while, let everybody know there's a huge uh, energy conference up at the Biltmore because they're gonna need a lot of black SUVs and stuff like that up here. So I'll shoot, I'll be shooting you guys out of tech. By the time you see this video online, you'll be like, oh yeah, I did get that text message. <laughs> so I'm about to shoot out a message to everybody, let them know, you know, Biltmore's got a big conference. Get up to the Biltmore, it's gonna be surging like crazy. It's all cars coming in right now. Look like all Ubers and Lyfts dropping people off at this conference up here. So it's gonna be a lot of good money up here. I cannot wait. I'll be back up here later on because I'm going to get some of this money. That's what I'm going to do. All right, so now I'm in, the, I'm in the surge now. Let me see how I can get this money. 
Uh, I wanted to make a right turn, but this car right here, ooh, cool, they're going. All right, I'm making a right. I'm out of here, all right. I wanted to make a right turn anyways, and they were going perfectly. Everything's working out in my favor now. Let me let the windows up a little bit. Everything's working out in my favor. I'm at a 350. I wanted that $4 surge, so I ended up getting 50 cent less, but that's why I wanted to drop the people off here so I can get the surge. So I dropped them off, got the 350. Now I'm gonna try to cruise a little bit further south of here. I always like to be dropped off where it's free money. Cause if you can drop me off where it's free money, I'm good. When you take me way up somewhere, like way the fuck out here, ain't no free money out there. So I don't want to go out there. It means I gotta come all the way back on my own dime. But where I'm at right now is, is all good. I'm gonna see if I can cruise down 20th Street. I'm gonna park right over here and see what kind of you know short hops I can get. If I can get something back down to the airport, that'll be perfect. Cause that means I'm I'm closer to my house. Thirteen dollars. Ooh, that's a bad trip. That's that's going way out somewhere. <laughs> it's like, jeez, please don't send me that. Yeah, so I'm right near this four dollars. Yeah, cause this is where I want to get to. I want to get down to the airport. I'm just north of it, and this this will be an easy ride if I could pick up somebody from an apartment complex up here, shoot straight down to the airport, then I can go home so I can shower and do all I got to do. Cause I really hate, oh, I got the four dollars. I got it. That's what I was talking about, baby. I wanted to drop them people off to come over here and get the four dollars. Now I got it. Everything works out, man. It all works out. You got to know your city, man. Know how to get this fucking money. It's all free money laying around. Make sure you stop. Because if I can get an extra $4 per ride every single ride, do 10 rides, that's $40 in free money I got. $40 in free money for 10 rides. It only cost me like, what, 50 to fill up. So that means I got a free tank of gas off of this free money. 10 rides, I'm not even going to go a quarter, quarter of a tank. So basically, that's your trade-off. You get a quarter of a tank, you get free money to fill up your next tank. That's what I like. It's all profit margins, all profit margins. That's it. Come on, slow ass truck. Big ass slow tundra. <laughs> yeah, you gotta figure out ways to get this money. $14 down there. That's close to the airport. Yeah, I'm not going down there yet. Yeah, I'm not going. There's too many slow cars over here. Come on, guys. Let's go. You motherfuckers are killing me already. Let's go. I can't stand driving around slow ass people. It's like you motherfuckers gotta use that gas pedal, man. I'm a driver, I'm a driver, I roll. I don't give a shit, I'll be out cruising. All right. Because I know how traffic flows. Ooh, $9, I bet that's to the airport right there. Let's see, let's see. Oh, it's 35th Street, $9, man. But that's actually going by my house though. Shit, do I wanna take it? No, it's, it's before my house. Nah, I'm not doing that. Not for no nine bucks. Because I got nine plus I got the surge of four. That'll be $13. Fuck it, I'm going to take it. Because it's, it's almost to my house. Oh, damn, it's no longer available. Because I live right over here. Like where it says Contempo Tempe right there in that area. And it was stopping by Green Valley Trailer Park right here. So I was not too far from where I was going to go. It would have been a good ride. It would have added the $4 to it anyways. So I got the nine and the four. I got $13 for heading home. And that's all I need is, is a quick, you know... And I'm out of the surge right now, so yeah, I'm done recording for a while because I got to start Harriet Tubman motherfuckers in a minute. They took me out of the surge. Damn it. Like crazy. And I found my ride. I was sitting right next to it. So I'm going to grab this guy and take him all the way down right next to, guess where? Contempo Tempe. I'll be right by my house. See, I told you I just sat in that parking lot and they gave me a ride. It was a $14 ride. So it's 14 bucks and I'm right here. Like I said, I knew they were going to give me something that started heading my direction. I just had to sit and wait and scout. Scout it, scout it, scout it. Bam, they gave me one right to Contempo Tempe. That's exactly where I was going. Okay, so I did what I wanted to do. Like I said, I made my 20 bucks earlier, and now I made my the 30. I wanted to get 30 off the app so I can have 50 bucks to start my day. So I'm right at that. I'm right at $53 to start my day, which is cool. Now I can go home, shower, shave, eat breakfast, what I want to do. I already got my first 50 of the day. I need to make another 150, which is gonna be easy to do later. I said, and this is what I, this is the ride I just did here. That one right there, it's pretty easy. Like I said, and it was what 12 miles, 14 dollars, roughly a dollar a mile, but it was my ride home. Like I said, I'm right around the corner from my house right now. It's better than riding home with you know dead miles. So I'm gonna cruise around the corner, get my butt home, and get my day started in that direction. But I was only on line with an hour 15. You know, made that 30 something dollars right there. But as far as driving goes, 20 miles, 
not good, not good. Because usually I'm averaging about $3 a mile. So normally for 20 miles, I would do about $60. But because I did that last ride to get me all the way back home, you know, that's what killed me right there. That 12 miles after that. Usually I would have did something else probably about three or four miles. But I did that 12 mile ride so I can get my ass home. So I don't like my numbers right now. 20 miles for $33 is not good. It's not good. So I got some catching up to do later. But, because like I said, that was a trip that fucked me up right here. Almost 13 miles, $14. That's not how I drive. I don't drive like that. So she probably won't tip me. If she do, it's cool. She probably won't. But I don't do rides like that. Most of my rides are, you know, even the one I did earlier, this one here, you know, a dollar for nine. That was a good ride. That's normally how I drive right there. Then I did the, the one right after that. I did this one where I got these people across town right here. And that was five miles, 10 bucks. I don't really drive like that either. Like I said, I, I do much higher dollar to mile rides. But like I said, it's morning. I don't drive days that often. But I just wanted to, you know, make a quick $30, then get my ass home real quick. So, like I said, I'm right around the corner from my house. Shit. Like I said, I, all I needed was a ride to Contempo Tempe. That was it. I got my ride to Contempo Tempe. Now it's time to enjoy my day. Saturday morning right now and this is what I've done with Lyft so far because I haven't driven Saturday yet it's just Saturday morning what about 10 30 10 40 but I've only made 559 what went 227 miles 10 and a half hours so I'm running about 50 bucks an hour only did 43 rides so I'm doing good with my per ride average it's kind of up there I don't like that 227 miles to get 559 that's the only thing I don't have a I got an issue with I would like to go three dollars a mile that's my goal, three dollars a mile. This is roughly about two dollars a mile. So I'm I'm bent off because I've done a couple of crazy nature hikes. I'll show you what I've been doing, and they're saying what I got. I'm at 106 percent, but I'll show you like you know some of the rides I've been doing. That's nature hikes. My last ride last night was a nature hike. It threw me, but I just I just wanted to clear you know with that. It, I had a little surge on it. I had what a here's my ride down here. I had a 775 surge. $17 is what's the base. You know, people paid $41. $41 is what they paid. $17 was my base. It was an airport ride. I was sitting right next to the airport. So I grabbed the people and I took them up to 51. That was my last ride. So basically, you know, I went 25 minutes, 20 miles, but I had to come back. I live by the airport. So basically I went like 40 miles to make $25. I wanted to go up there because I was going up there to actually get a ride to try to come back to the airport there was no rides coming back. That's why I don't like doing these rides. I took a risk. I said, let me just take this ride. Maybe they're going to give me a ride back to the airport. I got up there. I sat and chilled for a minute. No ride came back. So I basically went 40 miles for that. That And that irritated me. But I was ending my night anyways. That was my last ride. I was done with my night. Turned the app off. When I couldn't get a ride, just turned it off. I was done for the night. So really, it wasn't 40 rides of me working. It was just, I got up there. I got stuck. It was a nature hike. I hate doing that shit. That's why I don't do nature hikes. But everything before that was like pretty decent. You know, I had, you know, a bunch of short rides like this is all I was doing. I mean, you know, um, like a half of a mile for seven bucks. Basically, that's what I was doing. Half of a mile for $7 because I was using surge. You know, I had it was a, they paid five ninety nine. The base was two seventy five. I was actually sitting next to Lawrence. I think I was sitting next to him and I picked somebody up and just took this lady like right around the corner. That was it. I was sitting next to Lawrence over at Jack in the Box. And, you know, I actually hit like a ride challenge, 25 rides. I did 27 rides. I wasn't going for the ride challenge, but they were giving me so many of these little short rides like this. Here's another one, you know, a mile and a half, five bucks. They was giving me all these little short rides. So I was like, well, I might as well just take them. I mean, they're, they're super short. So I didn't mind doing them all. And just, you know, somehow I ended up doing those. But I mean, I had a few good rides in here. These were crap, dollar tip, extra comfort rides. Here's a good ride right here. This one was a, was a good one. This was like, you know, two miles, about 10 bucks. I remember that one right there. That was, I think, a grocery store. I was taking a dude to work. So I picked him up, dropped him off pretty easy. I mean, these rides were paid $7.99. I got $10 out of that because I had that tip. But without the base was $2.91. My surge was $2.25. So I was only getting probably $5 out of the eight. But because I got that $5 tip, it put me at 10 bucks. And that's basically like how my night went. And I was doing private rides. That's what was I was really jamming on private rides last night. Let me find some more of my little short bangers I was doing that was coming out pretty decent. You know, all earlier in the day, 
this is when I was down. I was getting these bonus hour rides. They were giving me three dollars per ride just during the bonus hour, which wasn't too bad. And like at 203, this is kind of like what I was doing, you know, five miles, five and a half miles, 18 bucks because I was getting these little bonus rides because it was giving me my base, my tip plus my bonus. I don't think this was one of them because that right there was about 12. Now that wasn't a bonus ride because they were giving me these little bonuses like all night. These little three dollar rides right here. Where is that at? Ride bonus. No, it was up here. That was up here. I think it was somewhere in here. I don't know. Yeah, bonus hour. Okay, because bonus hour must have stopped at two o'clock. Because I was getting those bonus hours like back to back. Bonus hour here, bonus hour there. So I was getting this ride, plus it was giving me the three dollars. So I was getting the four fifty nine, the two dollars, the six fifty, plus the three on top of that. So this right here, you know, three and a half miles really was sixteen dollars for three and a half miles because they were giving me that three dollars extra on top of that. So I was like, cool. So bonus hour was working pretty well for me the other day. I wasn't having to do no, you know, conversion, converting people over. They were actually like paying me pretty well because they threw that bonus hour out there. Even like, you know, that was that one there, that one there. Here's another one of those bonus hour ones right here. So I got the $3, but also got this. So it was 13 plus three. So I got $16 to go one mile. So I was doing the little, I got the 13, 23, because I got all of this stuff down here. The lady paid 9.73. So I got the 2.23 was the base, the tip, the bonus. Then I got the extra $3 on top of that. So I was just sitting in the cut, just doing all these little bonus rides. And I was only doing short rides. I wasn't taking no nature hikes, no bangers, not trying to get out of there. And that's all I was doing was just, like I said, all these little short rides were getting little tips on them, tips on them. This right here, that one didn't have a bonus on it. That was at 106. I got it before the one o'clock hour hit. So they didn't give me a ride bonus on that one, that $3 deal. But as you can see, it's just going down. It was just a bunch of short trips. That's all I was doing, a bunch of short trips. Everything I did, though, has a ride bonus on it. See that? Ride bonus, ride bonus. The bonus, this was a $5 bonus hour. So I did this one at 11.44, plus I got the $5 on top of that. So this ride was one and a half miles for actually $10 because I got the $5.15 plus the $5.00. Super short ride. They paid $4.99 for it. I got $3.16 plus a $2 bonus plus the $5 for that bonus hour. I mean, and that's basically how I drive. Y'all know I don't do a bunch of nature hikes. Like I said, this last one right here, this one, that nature hike that I did, that was an experiment. I was like, well, maybe I'll go up here and they'll give me a ride back. Didn't quite work. I ain't even got a tip on that shit yet. So they probably tipped me. They just lift ain't going to give it to me. But that kind of pissed me off right there because they paid $40 for this ride. They paid $41 for it. And even after that, with the surge and everything, I still walked away with 25. So they took $16 from me. But, you know, that was an experiment. Every once in a while, I'll take a risk. You know, I'll roll the dice. You know, I'm trying to roll the dice. But I don't, it don't always work out in my favor. <laughs> it's like I don't always win. I lose a lot. And it's like, so I ended up, you know, I was online for about almost eight hours with 333 bucks. And then, now, like I said, I was just, I was tapping out. You know, I was like, you know, it was, it was 1244. Almost one o'clock in the morning. I was like, you know, I'm going to do this last ride. I don't want to work till and they were they were jamming, you know, three, four o'clock in the morning. People still out there driving. I wanted to end it. I said, you know, what? I'm done for the night. I'm done because I wasn't getting the tips. I was wanting to get 27 rides, 13 tips. I'm only getting half tips 50 percent of the time. I think Lyft is still in my shit anyways. So I was like, no, I'm done with that. Called it good. You know, I cashed out and everything already. So, because I only have $28 up, so I cashed out everything all week. I cash out my money all the time. It's only 28 That last ride is sitting on there. But the, basically, that's all I did. You know, the 227 miles, 10 and a half hours booked, 559. If I, if I could do 20 hours, then that's 1,000. So 20 hours would put me at 1,000, over 1,000. So 40 hours should put me at 2,000. So you don't need to be driving for no 80 hours to make two grand. You could do this shit in 40 hours. I'm telling you, it's possible. I just don't drive enough to do it. I should, because I'll show you like what I do during the week. Like here's my activity here. So you can see like the days that I actually drive and don't drive. So you can see today I haven't driven yet, but I drove on uh, Friday. I think I drove. I didn't drive Thursday. I drove a little bit on Wednesday, like an hour and something on Wednesday. I think that was the concert. Drove on Wednesday little bit on Tuesday. I was sitting online all day at home and they weren't sending me nothing. I mean, here I am right here, $38. I made four hours online. They wouldn't send in nothing. 
It was trash on Tuesday. Trash. I'm online for four hours waiting on rides to come through. Nothing was coming through. I had a $5.75 ride bonus, $5 ride bonus, $3.75 ride bonus, $3 ride bonus. Those are all the rides I did. And they just weren't giving me anything. I was like, man. And then on the 11th, look, I was online for four hours, 17 to make $38 here. I was online for four hours here to make one twenty six. So I was online the exact same time frame, but I made like a hundred bucks difference. But like I said, everything's ride bonus, ride bonus. That's what I do, ride bonuses. That was a good ride. This one here was, a. I think this was an extra comfort. What was it? I don't know what it was. But, oh, that was, that, that was the uh, airline stewards. Okay, that was the airline lady right there. That was that one. Because I picked her up from the airport, American Airlines, and I got her over there. Okay, 40 bucks, and it was like 24 miles. And then I got a couple of rides after that, trying to work my way back. But like I said, I don't always win. I get beat sometimes, but I'm like, I'll take the hit. Fuck it, I'll take the hit. <laughs> but I don't think I drove uh, Monday or Tuesday. Well, Sunday. Yeah, so Monday is when I started. So I did Monday, a little bit on Tuesday, a little bit on Wednesday. Thursday, I was like, nah, I'm good. Friday, I hit it hard. And today, Saturday, I might go out and do something. So I don't know. But I mean, I've been doing, you know, well as far as, you know, cash rides and stuff like that. I mean, my, my cash app is looking good. My Venmo, I got Zelle stuff coming through. So cash rides are looking good. But I got to just, I got to do better with selling groups. So I need all the guys out there with the SUVs to help me out, man. Help me out. I need pictures of the SUVs. I need to, you know, put them on a card or something to let people know this BMW is not the only thing we got. We got other cars that we can use. I got help out there. Oh. And this morning I had a, a new client, you know, it's one of my good friends, you know, we've been on each other's Instagram for a long time, you know, Julie, she's Aqua Jeep girl, she just started her YouTube channel, but she's, like I said, she's big on Instagram, big on every other platform like Facebook and stuff like that, her and her husband Matt, you know, they got the big gladiator, they got the big Jeep Wranglers and stuff like that, they do a lot of willing. Hey guys, it's Julie. I'm just doing a little um, editing of some YouTube videos, but I'm also getting distracted by this this month's Tread Magazine because they featured my Jeep Roxy. I'm so excited. There's some beautiful photos in here and a great article. You get a chance to check it out. It is the March-April issue and it is on newsstands right now. But not only is my Jeep featured, but also Matt's Gladiator, our Gladiator Indominus, is also in here with more beautiful photos and a great write-up as well. Thank you so much, Tread Magazine. We really appreciate it. But, you know, they used to live here in Phoenix. Now they live up in, what, Utah. So they do a lot of willing up there. But they had, she was having her Jeep worked on down here. So she brought her, you know, she flew in. So I had to take her to where her Jeep was. She went over to the owner's house, the owner of RPM Steering. All of us got RPM Steering shit all over our Jeeps. I mean, we got suspension kits. We got everything. These guys do a lot of great work, put a lot of great parts out for Jeeps. So I had to take her to his house this morning. So I actually got to met the owner and his wife of RPM Steering and all that. Great people, great people. I've had their products on my Jeep for two years. I don't think, I, I think I met the wife. I never met the husband. I never met the guy who actually runs it all. So it was cool to kind of meet them this morning. But hopefully, you know, we get a chance. Like, I want to take some of the members of this channel. I really want to take some members of this channel off-roading, willing with these people. They do huge Jeep jamborees up in Utah. They do stuff here in Arizona. I want to get a lot of drivers. Like I said, we don't, we get shitted on in this industry. Nobody gives a shit about us in society. And everyone in the world is boring. Everyone's boring. They're all boring. Everyone is. I would like to take people out and have a good time. Meet some Jeepers. Come to our world. I know I'm a driver, but I'm also a Jeeper. I built my shit. I want to take people out and have fun. And these are the type of people I want you to be around. You, Because one day you may say, you know what, Jeff, I want to buy me a Jeep. Go out and find your little four or $5,000 Jeep and just start building on it. Put your suspension kit on there. Get you some wheels. Get you a lift kit. I bought my Jeep for like sixteen grand and built this thing up to Lord knows what now. But I did it all on my driveway. It's not hard to do. A lot of people got Tundras, Tacomas, you know, Xterras. I met somebody with an Xterra, a Nissan Xterra. And now I gave him my car to the airport, and now they want to come willing with us. I'm like, hell, he lives right in Tempe. Him and his wife live in Tempe. So I'm like, hell yeah, let's go willing, man. Gave him my car. So hopefully, you know, they come with us. I think his name was James. James and Kimberly, because I was like laughing about KJ being on his stuff. So it's James and Kimberly. So I want to get them to come out with us. Like I said, Juan Vargas, he's got the big Tundra. We got Matt. He's got his uh, off-road vehicle. I don't know what Matt drives. I think he drives like a Tacoma or something like that, too. But these are the type of people I really want to go out and hang with. And I want to bring some members off this channel. You guys are used to driving up and down streets, parking in driveways, going, picking up people from work and shit like that. Have a weekend. 
where you just come out with a whole bunch of people with Jeeps and anybody will take you. Because like I said, we pay for the gas. We already pay for the vehicle. All you got to do is pay for your food, maybe a drink, maybe be nice and be like, hey, Jeff, man, I'll buy your chicken fingers for you. Since you brought me out here, I'll pay for your chicken fingers, man. Appreciate you bringing me out. And everybody just has a good time all weekend with a bunch of Jeepers. We go to Mexico. We go to Rocky Point. And I love to take some people on my channel to Rocky Point and be like, hey, man, let three or four of us throw some luggage and shit in the back, go to Rocky Point for two or three days, Mexico, kick it over there, come back, hit the road again, get the grind again. I love to do shit like that. I wouldn't mind doing that. And it ain't no charge to you, people. Like, I know my homegirl, Mary, you know, Mary Sucker Free. She lives up in the Bronx. She's up in New York. I tell her, hey, if you make it to AZ, shit, come on out. We're going to go. I tell her that shit all the time. It's like, you come out here, we'll go off-road. I'll take you off-road. I'll show you my city. We'll roll around. Because I think this world is made up of connections. It's made up of energy. I would love to take people out and do stuff like that. This channel is something different. This is not just us showcasing our money, showcasing our car, showcasing our, you know, strat. We showcase life, energy, the friendships we have with each other, the way we're building friendships with each other, the things we're doing. This is what we do. So I would love to, you know, have people come to the city when we have time. We all agree, hey, man, we got time to do this. Let's go do this. I know my man Stan Jinx, he's in town right now. I got to text him. I just got up and finished with Julie this morning, you know, getting her to her Jeep. So I got to hit up Stan Jinx, see what he's up to, because I'm up now. So I might hit him up and be like, hey, man, let's go roll. Let's go do something, because he's in town for the next couple of days. But I love when, you know, come out here, nobody's busy, everybody's willing to do something. Let's go have a good time. This is what it is, man. If we're going to be a family, we're going to be a 300. This is how we got to do it. And everyone in the world is boring. Everyone's boring. They're all boring. Everyone is.